One of the key ingredients of uh, planning, engaging lessons is to try to find ways in which um, learning can move from just being relevant to real world. There was an, a conference that uh, we're planning for and we recognize that it will be a fantastic opportunity to get the eight-year-old students to actually take part of a, uh, to handle, plan, organize, uh, problem solve, implement the four hour plan where the children of, uh, at the conference uh, would get this fantastic experience with my eight year olds. So here um, I hand over the conference planning to uh, the children. When you say we will play a game, I want to know which what game. What does that mean? If we say game, what? what game? Thank you. Each hour, if you say game, which game, why that game, how long will the game take, you should have played the game yourself. You can break up now and group to say, one will be the game group. One will be the cooking and the jewelry group. One can be the uh, visit group. The next session actually is, is when they actually present their very first plan. And what you will recognize is how children start realizing there are certain flaws and problems in the way the plan is actually, uh, their, what their solutions have. Who is the game committee? Game committee, please share with me your options. In this, we have a newspaper. Okay. So now you distribute it to everyone. All right. And by any competition, they might be a shy girl. Okay, and she's being paired with uh, maybe one of the boys. Maybe she won't feel comfortable. So you will recognize that when children do this refinement and this prototyping, the learning becomes richer. What are the things about this icebreaker that makes it fun, that makes everybody energized, that gets us communicating? Uh, I am making Padra offer uh, the participants of PTC can know that how to make Padra. Yeah. So this does this get a smiley face? Yeah. 
So it's not necessarily always the best answer. The real great solutions happen when it goes back and forth. And what you will see is how children recognize it. Then they need to go back to the drawing board if necessary to come up with an even better plan. After, of course, the initial hiccups, as you can see now, the children are much clearer with the choice that they have taken. Uh, they have been able to test each of these ideas um, to know that they have overcome those little gaps and, uh, and uh, concerns. And what they're presenting now is a fantastically designed plan um, for the children at the conference. Hospitality here. Students here, they are full of energy, they are very enthusiastic. It was very fun and exciting for them, so they didn't want to leave, they wanted to stay here. While we were playing the game, I saw their faces and their face would resemble that they were energetic for the day. Here is an example of a session or a lesson where age had nothing to do with the kind of work that young children are being offered. Are you more happy? Yes! Yeah! 